Hi, everybody. Today, I am here to discuss one of the interesting and important novels of Raja Rao, Kantapura. Kantapura is a noted novel written by Raja Rao. As we all know, Raja Rao is a famous Indian English novelist, writer of 20th century. He belongs to the group of novelists of pre-independent spread. We talk about great pillars of Indian English fiction in pre-independent spread. The three major writers are Mulk Rajanand, R.K. Narayan, and Raja Rao. If Mulk Rajanand belongs to northern part of India, R.K. Narayan belongs to Tamil Nadu, and Raja Rao was born in Karnataka. And Raja Rao's writings became very popular for a variety of reasons. Before we go for discussing Kantapra, let us have a brief understanding of Raja Rao and his writings. As I said, Raja Rao is a noted Indian English writer of 20th century. He was born in Karnataka in 1908. He studied in Hyderabad at Nijam College and was graduated from Madras University. And Raja Rao went to France and studied French in University of Montpellier. And finally, Raja Rao settled in US and worked as a professor of philosophy in University of Texas. And Raja Rao contributed greatly to the development of Indian English novel. His best works are Kantapara, a historical novel, The Cow of the Barricades, a collection of short stories, The Serpent and the Row, another novel, Cat and Shakespeare, is also a novel by Raja Rao. Although his literary output is comparatively lesser than that of Mulkraj Anand and R.K. Narayan, he made a very significant development in the development of Indian English novel. Coming back to Kantapura, let us discuss how Kantapura is considered as a very important novel of Raja Rao. Kantapura is considered as one of the important Gandhian novels in the history of Indian English novel. It is set in Kara province of Karnataka. And presently, we can call it Karwar. And the time of action is 1930s. Indian freedom movement is broadly divided into three important sections when it comes to modern Indian history. We talk about moderate movement, we talk about you know, revolutionary movement, we talk about Gandhian movement. So the last four decades, particularly, when we talk about 1900, 20 to 1947, we say that this particular period was dominated by Gandhian movement. And this novel speaks about the historical conditions of India during 1930s, because this novel was published in 1938, and Raja Rao tried to describe the story of India's freedom movement through the story of Kantapura. Of course, Kantapura runs like Stala Purana, dealing with the story of freedom struggle, 
influenced by the principles of Mahatma Gandhi. And uh, a great critic says that Kantapura is a microcosm of India. What happens in India is also happening in Kantapura. We all talk about a variety of uh, incidents like Jallianwal Bagh massacre, Charachori incident, roundtable conferences, Dandi march, and much more. They are indirectly described in the novel. And this is narrated by an old woman because the grandmother's tale is very interesting. Raja Rao made use of Achaka, an old woman, who is also mother of Sinu, one of the characters in the novel, as the narrator. And the protagonist of this novel is Corner House Murti. And um, there is uh, Goddess Kenchama, uh, who is a, a, a great uh, protector of the village. So, this novel, Kantapra, deals with the incidents of freedom movement in a small village like Kantapra. The idea of choosing Kantapra is to inform the readers that the freedom movement was not just confined to big cities, metropolitan cities like Mumbai, Delhi, Kolkata. Freedom movement happened in each and every small village. And whatever Gandhi tried to teach and practice has reached thousands of villages. So, Raja Rao's major intention is to describe how Gandhian ideals reached the nooks and corners of our country. Kantapura is a small village in Kara province. Of course, there are just 24 houses in different sizes. Raja Rao describes different quarters of the village also. There is a Pariya quarter, Weaver's quarter, Shudra quarter. Of course, there is no information about uh, how many huts are there in um, these quarters. But it's very interesting to know that uh, names in the villages like Corner House Murti, we have uh, even people come with uh, prefix like nose scratching, Rangan uh, Nanjamma, Waterfall Venkamma. Raja Rao made use of racy language, it's the first experimentation to other to decolonize himself from the colonial uh, use of language. There is something about Kantapureshwari temple and various rituals and jatras happen. It is during this time that the coming of Murti changes the atmosphere of the village. It's like Gandhi coming to India from South Africa because Gandhi started he Satyagraha in South Africa, he experimented with truth, he experimented with Satyagraha, non-violence, and he came back to India. This is what we see in Nehru's writing, and then Gandhi came. There is a change in the atmosphere of uh, the country when Gandhi began to lead uh, the nation. So here, Karna House Murti comes back to his village. He is respectfully called Murtappa by the villagers. He is a learned man influenced by Gandhi. And he started movement. By this time, he threw all the foreign clothes and discarded Western education. And he has come to bring about 
a change in his village. He tried to instill and inject the spirit of nationalism to a spirit of freedom among the people. And uh, he is called Holy Cow Gandhi, a mini Gandhi in his village. Many people used to say Gandhi is a big mountain, Moti is a small mountain. So with this kind of a respect, Murti started uh, educating his villagers, creating awareness about um, the freedom movement. And he started Congress committee. And many people supported him, including Patel Range Gowda, Rangamma, Ratna, Sinu, Shankara. All these people supported the very idea, of course. He was the man who mixed with Pariyas, untouchables freely, which is not liked by Bhatta and Swami. Murti was excommunicated from his community because he was mixing freely with the untouchables of his village. Uh, and the Narsama, the mother of uh, Murti, was very sad because of Murti's Pariya business. And one day she died in distress. Raja Rao's Kantapura also deals with various rituals and festivals in South Indian villages, whether it is Ganesha festival or Deepavali or any other festival, Kantapureshwari festival. These festivals are made use of by the freedom movement. And uh, Jairam Achar, the Harikati man who made Gandhi the hero of the Harikati. This is what we find in the novel that festivals are converted into the places of uh, awareness, places of awakening. This is what I read even in Ankola Satyagraha, various uh, movements that took place. He invited Jai, Jai Ramachar. The Harikata man who made Gandhi the hero of uh, Harikata. Gandhi's uh, st statues were used along with the statues of Krishna, Rama, and all. He's often compared to Krishna, Rama as a reincarnation to drive out the British. British are considered as uh, the serpent Kalinga. Gandhi's principles of truth, non-violence, and satyagraha are taught through language of villages. We also read about Lavanis and many other people in North Karnataka. Similarly, Gandhian principles of truth, non-violence, and satyagraha are to be given in the form of the language of the villagers only, maybe through the songs, maybe through stories. Rangamma, Ratna, Sinu, Patel, Range Gauda, and Shankara, etc. to group of, uh, they form a group of Congress activists in the village and uh, they belong to one group. There is another group uh, which opposed freedom movement like Bhatta, the rich Brahmin, who opposed the Gandhian movement. He acts as an agent of colonial masters. He does not like uh, Murti because he opposed untouchability. Murti freely mixed with Pariyas. Another character which is antagonistic is Bade Khan, a Muslim constable who enters the village after the colonial government gets the news of Congress activities in a village. He began to oppress the people. Patel Range Goda does not provide him shelter. He settles himself in Skeppington estate. 
symbol of colonialism. He had a Paria woman who served him. Then starts the conflict between the Gandhi men and the colonial oppressors. So Kantapura presents a mini story of India's freedom movement. Like Gandhi's fight against racial prejudice in South Africa. Murthy started such movement against all ill treatment of coolies in Skeppington Estate. Skeppington Estate stands as the symbol of colonial rule. The picket toddy grows of Borana and a post selling of toddy in the village. So all this kind of a thing, Gandhi opposed alcoholism. Similarly, Toddy was giving a big revenue to the colonial masters and they picketed that. They participated in um, civil disobedience movement by not paying the tax, which enraged the British and uh, there was uh, action, swift action by the British administration. They talk Gandhi's Dandi march is discussed among the public and how Gandhi marched to Dandi and, and prepared salt. And uh, this inspired number of people. This is what we see even in Ankola Satyagraha when there is Dandi march. So we also see similar kind of uh, movements in North Canara. Murthy was arrested on several times. Of course, like Gandhi, he was also arrested. Rangama organizes meeting in the absence of Murti and leads Satyagrahis. Murti also goes on a three-day fasting like Gandhi and tells them to love enemies. Even he asks the people to love Bade Khan, but uh, men, women, children participate in Satyagraha at large scale. Of course, the police suppressed the movement by lati charge, firing, molesting women, shooting down satyagrahas. The final uh, satyagraha, Bhatta's house was set on fire. And many people were killed. Kantapura becomes a deserted village at the end. Some are arrested. Majority of the people left their homes and stayed in Kashipura. Urti, Rangamma and Ratna have left for Bombay to join mainstream movement led by Mahatma Gandhi. Of course, the novel ends on a note of hope to attain freedom. And uh, there is a hope that Murti would come back with success. It ignited the spirit of freedom. So in that way, Kantapra should be described as a historical novel because it deals with the historical incidents of uh, um, freedom movement in 1930s. All that I said is about uh, how they speak about Dandi March, how they speak about Round Table, how they speak about sweet disobedience. The novel also speaks about uh, the influence of Mahatma Gandhi on the rural India. How Gandhi's Ideals reached the nooks and corners of the country, even in the age of uh, poor communication system. His information spread like forest fire. The novel documents major historical incidents. That's why it should be called a historical novel. It is also called a social novel because it describes the Indian social structure of free independence spread, caste-based quarters in the village like Pariya quarter, Shudra quarter, Brahmin quarter. Wonderful information about rituals, festivals, food, cuisine. Everything is discussed interestingly by Raja Rao in his unique side of writing. The major characters in this novel are Karnar House Murthy, the protagonist, an educated young man who was influenced by Mahatma Gandhi and his ideals. He is respected by all the villagers except Pata and Swami for his liberal ideas. He starts a Congress committee 
is a man who moves around, who tries to present the miniature Gandhi in him. He was a strong follower of Gandhi and his principles. And he ensured that his principles are followed by all the Satyagrahis. Rangama is a widow, uh, educated and a very sensible woman who works for Murti and leads the moment in the absence of Murti. Ratna, the daughter of uh, Rangama's sister, is also a widow and she struggled hard and uh, tried to support Rangamma and even led the movement in the absence of Rangamma. Patel Range Gauda is called Tiger Range Gauda. It's like Sardar Valla Bhai Patel. Uh, you know, he is a, a big influence on villagers. Without him, nothing happens. And he supports Murti, even he courted arrest. And um, he too was uh, beaten up by the police. Aratna, Sinu, Shankara, all are great Satyagrahis. Badekan, Bata, Skeppington, all belong to colonial side and they supported the Raj. So this is something about uh, Raja Rao. We will uh, meet again uh, with another novel in the next video. Uh, thank you for a patient listening.